everyone, my name's Karishma and I work in Mosey Library. Thank you so much for joining me online today with Surrey Libraries. I hope you're all having a lovely day. Today's video is super exciting because we're going to be talking about New Year's resolutions. Towards the end of the video, you're all going to be making one that you're hopefully going to achieve. So, who knows what a New Year's resolution is? Pause the video, have a conversation with someone around you, and then I'll get back to you and tell you what it is. Ah, oh, great. Now that you've all thought about it, let's discuss it together. So, a New Year's resolution is a promise to do something differently in the new year. So that will be 2021. Please remember to be really specific with your resolution. So in other words, a really specific goal that you would like to achieve. Now I would really like you all to make your New Year's resolution special to you and only you. So you just need to write something small to recognise that the new year is coming and you would like to make it the most special year possible. When I make a New Year's resolution, I think reflecting on the past is a great way to make a new resolution. So maybe have a little think about what worked well this year and what didn't. Later in this video, we're all hopefully going to make a super cute and adorable person attached to a really cute speech bubble where we'll write our New Year's resolution inside. So, if you can't think of a New Year's resolution right now, then please don't worry because you can begin the craft activity first and then you can hopefully think about one. Before we begin the lovely craft activity, here are some New Year's resolutions that I like. My own New Year's resolution is to drink more water. Now I'm going to show you some more so that you can all get some ideas. So I've got, I'm going to tidy my bedroom every night. I will be nice and kind to others. I'm going to read more books. I will go for a walk or play outside at least three times a week. I will say please and thank you. And I will try to eat all of my vegetables, even if I don't like them, because I know they are good for me. I also think a really good idea in order to make sure that you stick to your New Year's resolution would be to make a big chart on some coloured paper. This should hopefully make your New Year's resolution seem a little bit more fun and exciting to achieve. On the chart, you can write down something that you aim to achieve every day, week and month. Once you achieve your goal, you can then find something to reward yourself with and I'm sure you will all feel really good and proud of yourself. Great! Now that I've told you all a little bit about New Year's resolutions, let's get started and make our New Year's resolution card. Here's what you need. One piece of black, white, red and some patterned paper or you can just use white paper for the whole craft activity and then you can colour your lovely person in by using lots of pens, pencils or crayons. You will also need a pair of scissors, a glue stick, a black pen to write your New Year's resolution in, a pencil and some googly eyes. If you don't have any googly eyes, then don't worry because you can just use your black pen to draw the eyes on. I've also got a really cute flower to attach to the top of my person's hat. You can use any resource that you have around your house and I'm sure your person will look super cool and stylish. First of all, get your pencil and draw a big circle on the white piece of paper and then get your scissors and cut the circle out. Next, get your red piece of paper because we need to draw the mouth on our lovely person. So get your pencil, try and draw a mouth and then cut it out. Maybe have a look at mine first, pause the video and then try it out yourself. Great work 
work everyone, well done. Now let's get our glue stick and stick the mouth onto our person's face. Fabulous! We now need to make some hair for our wonderful person. So, get your black piece of paper and cut out a rough rectangle shape just like this. Okay, great. So, place the rectangle on the top of the person's head Turn both pieces of paper completely around on the other side, so just like this. Now, make sure that the person's face is right at the top of the black piece of paper, just like this. Okay, so get your pencil and draw around the person's head onto the black piece of paper. Great work everyone, well done. Now get your scissors and cut around the lines that you've just drawn. Excellent work everyone, well done. I want to make my person look really cool and stylish, so I'm going to cut a little bit in the middle, just like this. And this should hopefully give my person a really cool hairstyle. So you can take your time with this step depending on how you want your person to look like. Fabulous! Once you're done, get your glue stick and glue the hair onto the top of the person's face. Just like this. Next, get your googly eyes or some paper if you don't have any googly eyes and glue them onto the person's face. Lovely work everyone, well done! How are you all doing? Make sure you let me know in the comments below. We're almost there! I think it would be a really cool idea if we give our person a lovely hat to wear to make them look even more stylish. So, get the paper that you want to make a hat out of and then get your pencil and roughly draw a really tall triangle just like this. Good job everyone, well done. Now get your scissors and cut your wonderful hat out. Great, now let's get our glue stick and stick the hat onto our lovely person. So I'm going to put a little bit of glue on here I can't wait to see what colour hat you're going to give your person. Wow, doesn't my person look super cool? What do you think? I wonder what your person looks like. Make sure you send us photos in the comments below so that I can see. I always love adding extra details and decorations to my craft projects. So I'm going to add the lovely cute flower that I showed you all in the beginning of the video to the top of the hat. So I'm going to get my glue stick and I'm going to stick this onto the top of the hat. I wonder how you're going to decorate your hat. Maybe with some colourful pens, pencils or crayons. I can't wait to see what yours looks like. Right, 
Now that we've finished making our person, we have to attach our New Year's resolution to it. You can attach this however you like. I love making super cute and adorable speech bubbles out of paper, so I'm going to do that. I wonder what you're going to do. Here we go. Ah, oh, thank you so much for watching this craft video and I hope you all managed to make some New Year's resolutions. I would really love to hear some of yours so make sure you write some of them in the comments below so that I can see. Reading some of your comments might give me or other people watching this video some lovely new ideas. If you're looking for something fun and exciting to do in the new year then make sure you check out Surrey Libraries or Wagami Club playlist. I've made lots of origami videos where I showed you all how to make lots of lovely animals. So I've made dogs, tigers, panda bears and so many more. So make sure you take a look. Me and everyone at Surrey Libraries really wish you all a happy new year and thank you so much for joining us online and watching our videos. There will be so many more videos in 2021. So like rhyme time, craft activities, and maybe even some more origami. So make sure you stay tuned for those. If you enjoyed this video, then please click the like button on Surrey Library's Facebook page and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Have a lovely day and I'll speak to you all very soon. Bye everyone.